Next, to construct the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. Given a line segment AB. Now let us look at the construction part. Construction. Step 1. Taking A and B as centers, the radius more than half AB draw arcs on both sides of the line segment AB to intersect each other. Now please look at the diagram carefully. Step 2. Let these arcs intersect each other at P and Q. Now join PQ. Step 3. Let PQ intersect AB at the point M. Then line PMQ is a required perpendicular bisector of AB. Justification for the construction. Join A and B to both P and Q to form AP, AQ, BP and BQ. In triangles PAQ and PBQ, AP is equal to BP, that is arcs of equal radii. AQ is equal to BQ, again arcs of equal radii. PQ is equal to PQ, that is common. Therefore, triangle PAQ is congruent to triangle PBQ as per SSS rule. So, angle APM is equal to angle BPM as per CPCT. Now, in triangles PMA and PMB, AP is equal to BP, that is arcs of equal radii. PM is equal to PM, that is common. Angle APM is equal to angle BPM, that is proved above. Therefore, triangle PMA is congruent to triangle PMB as per SAS rule. So, AM is equal to BM and angle PMA is equal to angle PMB as per CPCT. As angle PMA plus angle PMB is equal to 180 degrees, that is linear pair axiom, we get angle PMA is equal to angle PMB is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, PM, that is PMQ is the perpendicular bisector of AB.